Good afternoon traders, Mitch here from Dynamic Futures Trading. Hope you're all doing well out there. Guys, I just want to put a video together on uh, WinSplit. It's an application we use every day in the trade room and for our trading. Uh, it's, it's really the number one tool I use on my computer every single day. Now, NinjaTrader, the platform we use, unfortunately doesn't come with a chart sorting tool. Things like uh, other platforms, I'm not going to name names, but there's other platforms out there that have automatic sorting, so they'll, uh, they'll automatically sort your charts on your screen, whereas Ninja is very freehand. It's uh, that way so you can completely customize it to how you want it, and you can have any chart look however you want. That's good and bad. It means that it takes a lot of time to manually click through and try to try to set up your charts and make them all nice and level. If you're like me and have a bit of OCD, uh, <laughs> I like my charts to be nice and straight and clean and, and look nice. Uh, just visually, I'm one of those people that needs to have everything clean and uh, clean lines all over the place. So I've written, a, I've written a blog post here back in August last year when I first discovered this piece of, uh, piece of software. And uh, I'll repost this, but there's a link in here, and I'll also put the link on the video down below uh, that takes you to their website. And when you get here, just go to the download section and uh, and just download their you know the latest version, which is way back in uh, way back in April. So that's the latest version. Download it. Go through the process as you do any other application to download. Once you have it on your computer, it's a pretty simple program to use. And let me just run you through a a few examples of that. So I've got my charts here and there's a couple of ways you can use this application. There comes with a like a, a, a scroll pad or a num numpad which I'll I'll just bring up here. So I've got the uh, got the little number pad here. So you've got the sideways. Uh, you can use that and all you need to do is for example you click on this chart so that chart's active, the top left and if I want that to scroll through my top left settings, it will automatically go through those various presets that I have in there to where I want this chart to go. Okay, so that will automatically scrolling through. Now, if I wanted the one over on this side, if I wanted to look at this chart over here, this one here, and I wanted that to be nice and uh, nice and lined up in that top right corner, I go back over to the scroll pad and I click on this top right corner one, and that will run through and give me all the different scenarios I have preset in there where I could put this chart. Pretty handy, huh? Didn't, bet you didn't know about this. Now, there's a better way to do it. On your keyboard, on your keyboard, Control Alt, hold down Control Alt, and the number pad. So, the number pad, guys, so let's uh, see if I can do this. You got the number pad over here. Uh, the top left, so number seven is going to be your top left. 9 top right, 8 up, etc. Right? 1 bottom left. Right? So what you do, hold down Control Alt and let's say I want to look at this gold chart over here and I want to hold down Control and Alt and then I'm going to hit number 1. Let's say I want it down the bottom left corner. There we go. Let's say I want a bottom right corner. There we go. Top, side, other side, down, above, right? It's the easiest thing in the world to set up your set up your charts to make them look nice and all in line like, you know, if you've got a bit of OCD like me, you'll find this really, really cool. You can do it with anything. It doesn't just have to be your charts. It can be your Skype. It can be your, uh, your, your websites. It can be emails. It could be anything. Uh, you can easily organize your screens without having to manually go through and, and try to line them up manually. And, you know, it takes time. Uh, I'm a big fan of anything that saves me time of the day. I don't have much time. And uh, to have a, a program that can do all this for us is, is just fantastic. So go download it, guys. The How you do the presets is you click on the layout options, layout settings, and we'll just go through this really quickly. I'm not going to go into a whole heap of detail. But just the basics of it. You've got a y-axis, which is top to bottom, right? You've got a y-axis, top to bottom. You've got a x-axis, which is running across the top, right? From side to side. And you've also got your height and your width, right? So so let's go over and check out just one setting. 
uh, we'll use this one here because it's easiest. We're just going to look at how to set up the, the bottom left one here that goes all the way across. So effectively from one quarter of your screen on the bottom left. Right, so that's what we're going to look at. One quarter of the screen, bottom left. Now how you'd set that up, if you have a look in the settings over here, on the x-axis, we're going to be at zero. Right, and why are we going to be at zero? Well, because x is going side to side, as you can see over here. x is going side to side. Zero is here. 100 is over here on the other side. Right, this is 100, this is zero. Height-wise, same sort of thing. Okay, so what we're going to do is zero, as you can see in here, we've got x is zero. The y-axis is 50. Why is it 50? Because it's halfway down, right? So it's halfway down, we're looking at this chart, halfway down. So just in here is 50 on the y-axis, right? Halfway of the y-axis. The width is going to be 50. So what does that mean? It means we're going 50% across. So we're going from, from here to there. So the width is 50% of your screen, right? And then the height is 50 as well. So the height is obviously 50% of the screen as well, from top to bottom, all right? Simple, you can go through, you can see I've got various different presets and you can set these all for all the different scenarios. You've got down left, down, down right, left, middle, up, above, whatever. And you can set whatever you want to scroll through and then all you do is once you've got them set up to your liking it takes a little bit of time to get this right once you've got them set up how you want like I have here it's just a matter of going control alt and then hitting number seven and that will scroll through your different scenarios right that will scroll through your different chart positionings that you have preset you know each chart has a different you know a different place and a different height and a different you know, look I like to see. But by using this program, I can put them all in the right places uh, very easily. So guys, it's called WinSplit Revolution. I'm no affiliate, but I certainly love the program. It makes my life a hell of a lot easier. And if anyone's wondering how I get such uh, clean looking screens all the time, uh, it's very easy because you can go and move your charts around. You can do what you want. I can pull charts down from above, from all the sides. I've got six monitors here. And I can do what I want and then quickly go and put them back where they belong and keep my screens looking really nice and you know for example let's say I'm gonna take a trade over here on on gold I can go to the full screen and then let's say I wanna see what's going on on the other gold charts these other three over here I can go half screen very easily you know I can go back to full screen I can go back and put it in its place very easily just using a keypad so guys win split revolution check it out I'll write another blog post on it I'll, uh, I'll put the download link in the bottom of this guys but uh, hopefully you like it if you like the video make sure you like it for me uh, subscribe if you want more of these guys and uh, I'll see you in the next video bye bye for now